Okay, uh, free DLC, guys. What, how do you feel about that? Once the uh, servers for PSN go down, you can never access this ever again. Okay, but like, you need to, you need to let me talk from what we were talking about last time. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I know this since is your shit. Since this is so short, since this is so short. Oh, first off, amazing remix. Second off, since this is so short, I'm just gonna skip to the end, right? Shadow beats the fuck out of Infinite, right? Infinite is this cocky asshole. He thinks he's the shit. Shadow's like, what the fuck is this fan OC bullshit? I was the OG. Fuck out of here. And he gets pissed about it. And he throws a little fucking tantrum. Right? And he gets mad. That's... From a, from a story point, ignore the dialogue, ignore the story of the game. Ignore the from dialogue. From a writing perspective. No, for, ignore it. Right, from, a, from a writing perspective. This was Shakespeare. This was a live action film, right? Makes sense. He's a cocky asshole that got his shit pushed in so bad that he literally breaks. He's like, I can't believe it. I lost. I, I can't take this. Fuck Shadow. Fuck everybody. I'm the best. He has an inferiority complex. He can just kill everybody with the sun. But he can't do that. It's like Eggman. Eggman, can, Eggman could have blown the earth up multiple times with the Eclipse Cannon. But he doesn't because he wants to be a cocky asshole. He needs to beat Sonic. There is the no point, Sonic, world for... Sonic, Sonic needs to see him lose. He, Sonic needs to know he lost. Otherwise, there's no point. That's the same with Infinite. If Infinite just kills everybody, there's no point. Brent, Everybody Brent, shut Brent, the fuck Brent, up, Brent, people. Brent. Stop I hope you. I hope you realize that this argument is the essential, uh, is essentially that one cut team from Unleashed where Eggman just goes, What's the fun of having my plan succeed without any challenge? And then this robot looks at him like he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, the whole, the whole issue with Infinite being that way is... Hey, can someone make that, that shadow? Can someone make that shadow face again? Like, yep, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just, I've never seen Shadow make that stupid like side eye. Anyway. Oh yeah. But yeah. The the issue with Infinite though is that he's not actually characterized like that. In the right. No, no. 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 Right. 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 He, he, right. I agree. I agree. I'm not saying it's good writing. I'm saying that's what should have been. But it's not. It, it feels like that's what they're trying to write. But look at that fuck. Ew. Homework's due tomorrow. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I mean, you see, the thing is that the whole point, the whole thing with like infant, the shadow being like sort of infinite's catalyst for everything he does in this game, it sort of built up like a rivalry between the two of them that might like be resolved by the end of the game. But it never goes right. anywhere. Infinite just fucks off at the end of the game. I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. You sat there and teabagged and didn't get the red ring. <laughs> I don't care. This game is mediocre. I go for any red rings that are convenient. Sometimes. Sometimes I go for the inconvenient the, ones because I feel like showing we get, off. We get to hear from one of the best Sonic side characters in this. this oh, like, Omega? Oh, level. yeah, Omega? Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. He's not in the game much, but Omega's fucking great in this game. Omega's great in, like, every appearance. He's, he's genuinely one of the better. Yippee-ki-yay, yippee 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 pastel colored resistance. I owe my life to Donkey Kong. He made the necessary repairs. Oh, that's from, uh, I believe, Mario, Mario and Sonic, Sonic at the, at the Winter, Winter Olympic Games I'm on the sure DS. Was. I played that. Yeah, that was a good game. That was actually one of the better uh, Olympic games. No, it was a mediocre game. I with the, the, story mode, the, the story mode was mediocre, right? But the actual mini games were great. No, the actual, on DS, they were eh. I liked them. The, I thought they were all pretty fun. They were eh. They were okay. They were... You see, the thing about the Infinite is that the, th the thing because I'm gonna have my rant. Go ahead. Yeah, the thing about Infinite is that he was gonna be like built up to be like this super like you know like menacing, new, foreboding, threatening villain. And when you actually realize his uh, backstory and that he just lost a fight once, he just ends up coming off as a bit of a bitch, and that's that's just lame. Like he like he could have been a genuinely cool villain, but he's just, he's just not. I feel like that's kind of opinionated, though, because, I mean, uh, what about, like, Ultron from Marvel? He got his shit kicked in. He got, he was abandoned by Tony. He's like, a fucking stupid robot. And then he decided that the entire world needs to die because of it? That's kind of a bitch move. Yeah, he's just an too. Ego, he's an egomaniac. He's sure. an egomaniac. And, he, and he, he, just needs to, he just needs to prove to Shadow that he's better. I, if anything, I think that's funny that infinite is just kind of like a, yeah fuck it whatever i'll get the job done and only after shadow kicks his shit in he becomes this total ham because he just wants to one-up shadow i think that's funny 
Like, the only reason he talks like, I am infinite, you bow to me. He's not like that, but I mean, we don't see, like, we have, like, what, two lines of dialogue before Shadow kicks his shit in? But I like to think that he's not like that, and then Shadow kicks his shit in, and then he's, like, then he has to get all fucking pissy about it. I don't know. I'm gonna be up front and say that Mephilus had a way cooler backstory than fucking Infinite did. <laughs> And yeah, then, but too bad. And I feel too like, bad. Too bad. I have to think. All right, hold on, 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 hold on. This remix kicks so much fucking ass. I love this remix of White Jungle. I still like the original, but this is still pretty freaky. Oh no, 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 no! I'm gonna. Be, you see, I'm gonna be a heretic in the Sonic community here and say that I actually like this version of the song way better than I do the SA2 version. I don't like this version because it doesn't have the whoa, whoa, whoa in the beginning. Uh. I think it does. Yeah, it does. Like yeah. Yeah, and it's got the scratching and everything, man. So no, no, it is no, better. Uh -huh. Alright, you know what? I don't know if we mentioned this last time. I'm going to still mention Hold on. So, the Xbox Should version of this game, right, squads, has the, the prototype squad, versions of the game. The defense defense squad, for the defense that's a stupid line. The defense I'm sorry, it has nothing to do with what you said. That's such a stupid line. Defense squad. Defense squad. For the defense squad. For the defense squad. How about that? For the defense squad. That's a great line, all right? That made me. That made me laugh. That made me smile. I fucking like that line. Who are you and how you know my name? Yeah, that too. I don't. I, I like when they give Shadow more like jokey moments, but that's that's not even a good joke. Ah, uh, no, no, you're maybe up front. I kind of like it. That's kind of like that, that. That's good cheese, especially coming from Shadow. I kind of like good it. Enough to, you're not good enough to be my fake. Was funnier. <laughs> Also, um, this is a bit of a, not a nitpick, but sort of a little thing, but God bless whoever did the fucking subtitles for this game, because they really go ham and, like, really accentuate all the stuff that the actors are saying. You'll see later on, like, Infinite is screaming, Thank and it's just like, I am... <laughs> Hold on, wait, Shadow the Hedgehog appreciation. Is the only time I'm ever gonna get it. Shut up. I do like the animation that he, that they, uh, employ to, uh... For this scene, for Shadow, very nice, very cute callback. I did not re realize it until you told me, uh, Brent. You mean like four hours after you woke up and wouldn't shut the fuck up about it? Yeah. <laughs> so why can't we see his face? We see his face in the comic. That's the thing. Like, I don't get why they make such a big fucking deal over it. Hold on, wait, yeah, everybody, stop. Best line in the game. Oh, oh shit! Pathetic face around me. Oh my god! Actually, kill yourself. That was the best <laughs> line in the fucking game. Holy shit! I've never been more. I, I no, that was fire. I will. That was listen, actually listen. like the best line who, in the fucking who, game. Ironically, who who voices Infinite again? Because I know I know I know there was I know there was Aki, but I don't know his name. But he. Oh my god. God bless him, he tries his fucking best with such bad materials, like, I'm not weak, no, no, we no. See, this is what I meant with the subtitles. <laughs> yes. And what were you saying? Uh, Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien? Okay. Yeah, Liam O'Brien is a really damn good voice actor, because he is definitely the best part about this character. Like he, like especially when he's like angry, he just applies so much like grit and aggression to what he's saying. But you see that that's another thing. The the Phantom Ruby needs like a power source and everything to do all the shit that Infinite does, right? We learned that later when we had to destroy the Death Egg. Um, what about all the shit that happened in Mania? Was there a power source then? There was no Death Egg. I think it's dumb that they had to be connected at all. Uh, yeah. I just appreciate that they did connect and not just give us another magical MacGuffin like the fucking lost hex. Considering what they did the classic Sonic for this game, I honestly would have preferred if they had a stupid MacGuffin. You see, you see, you see. Hold on, hold on. I just like how Shadow's like, do I know you? And it's like, you are the entire reason I am this way. Shadow's like, I have no fucking idea who this guy is. Brilliant line of dialogue from Shadow there. Question, Question mark, mark, yes. That's what I'm saying! He's like, who the fuck is this guy? And see, another, another <laughs> weird... Point. Another weird sort of thing that they do here is that they have this whole fucking thing where Infinite makes an alternate reality for Shadow to run around in and, like, escape. You, uh, you'd think he'd do Maria or something. Or, like, aboard the Ark. 
to that really would, that fuck would require family. that would require Need more a assets. Background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would require more assets. Yeah, but can we talk about how it's still Sandy Green Hill too? Like they yeah, try that... to hide it, but you can still see all the sand. Yeah, that makes no sense either. <laughs> Yeah, see, stuff like that, and I'll, I'll bring this up again later when we get to the once again, like, the canyon. Uh, Rouge, what happened to Omega? Who knows? We haven't heard a beep from him since he was dispatched last week. I thought you said he was destroyed three months ago. Yeah, there's a couple uh, unused voice lines for this. I actually I, uh, don't like this all. remix. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. Uh, I like this yeah, beginning up until yeah. the end. I don't like the ending part. Okay, yeah, this is. Epi, now, now back up, now back up, hold on. Because I said this to Mount Mortar Canyon is. We, I think we might have brought this up before is the whole, like, oh, this game was too edgy. Like, it was, it was, or it was edgier in the American dump, right? Like, they made it, they added lines of dialogue. Like, that whole, like, she literally basically just said, Omega dies, basically. And she does, and that, that's in the Japanese version. Again, in Mortar Canyon, you know, we see a, a blimp with. The resistance flag on it blow up. I don't care if there's no dialogue. Uh, there I mean, are I, I died think, on that. I don't know. I think there's a difference between like Not machinery here. breaking Thank down. <laughs> I think there's a difference between like machinery breaking down in the world of Sonic and like Im implied torture. <laughs> I think there's a bit of a difference there. I don't think this game really goes like overly edgy at any points, except for that one line. I think that was like a step. But too I feel far like where, it should be because it might it goes as well more. at this point. Dude, this is the same universe where an 11-year-old gets shot! <laughs> but they, and that's but canon! They but they don't show any blood, so it's they okay. Doing the By the way, this level design sucks, with just like this going back yeah. and forth in a straight line. Boost that level design win. sucks. Boost to win! Boost to win! Boost to win! <laughs> you, can't forget, you can't forget using the kick move in the air to go down faster. Ah, yes. In any case, that Omega sure is a clumsy bucket of bullets, isn't he? Oh, I can't wait to see the look on that smashed up tin can's face. Are you really Rouge? Of course I'm me. Just like how you're you. Like, I don't know why they took these lines out. These would have been genuinely cool lines. Especially since the whole point of this level is for, like, Infinite to fuck with Shadow, you know? I got a C rank because I'm bad. It's a bad level. That's a good. That's a good shadow face. I'm gonna make it. Can we talk about how? I, I think it's one of the things. Yeah. Oh no, I was just saying one of the things I think is weak about this game's story. I feel like if there were just a handful more cutscenes or more time for some of the cutscenes, some of what it's trying to do would have impacted a lot better. This style of floating heads with dialogue box just kind of sucks. Like I said, they should have just went off the rails if, if, like edgy and full movie, or they shouldn't have done it at all, because then we get this. I mean, if they're trying to add as much story as possible with as little work as possible, then I suppose it's okay. But the thing is that the story that it does try to add with these cutscenes uh, is shit, so... Yeah, it's it, it, like it tries to have major story beats in some of these, and it really shouldn't. Like, I, I get that Episode Shadow is probably a rushed DLC type thing, but I feel like this would have been better if it had none of these and it were all cutscenes. Yeah, but you know, video game development, forty dollar game, budget title. Go by Sonic Mania instead. Maybe your mascot for your company <laughs> shouldn't be a budget title. They make, they literally, Sega exists right now and makes millions off of Persona. They should be spending all their money on this anyway. And they Yakuza. literally, they, they, they said, they said Persona Five Scramble. They said <laughs> money. That was supposed to be typing, but I fucking smashed it. <laughs> Are you telling me the truth? What's the point oh of lying? What did I do? I opened up like 40 tabs. Also, I love how every like increment of time in this game is just like a few months later. Just well, how long did this episode take place before? A few months later. <laughs> how long does is Sonic tortured? A few months. They don't want to dedicate to a timeline because then they have to explain things later. Yeah, then they have to well, explain there's, six. That, there's that Sonic encyclopedia that they're going to release later this year, I think, and that's going to have a definitive timeline in it. So, it's got a timeline, guys. 
It's gonna have a That's not gonna be a fucking shit show at all. It's gonna have a definitive timeline. Is it gonna have a definitive reason why there's humans in Sonic's universe and then suddenly there's not? No, 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 no. They're gonna do the Izuka thing where. Where they're gonna have Sonic's world, and then they're gonna have the human world, and they're two separate worlds that Sonic just travels between. They explain this in Sonic X, which is totally canon, of course. I keep telling you, Sonic X introduced Shadow's fucking inhibitor rings. It did, yeah, 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 that's the thing, yeah. The what? Hey, you're, you, this, more than anything, your editing on this has dated the video. <laughs> <laughs> Ed and Eddie is it's a dated timeless the, it's dated the video. Okay. I, I, it's, it's dated the video, but, 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 uh, what you lose with the date, you gain with actual, like, watchability and just instead of fucking playing. Because we've already I, seen yeah. this cutscene before. I have to make it interesting in some but, way. More than that, more than that, at least, <laughs> at least, at least Sonic doesn't, he's faster than Sonic. Is he? Why is everybody else as fast as Sonic now, apparently? Yeah. I, I like the way Zavok fell down there. <laughs> Notice that? He just like sh waves his arm with like a shocked expression on his face like he's a child. <laughs> I love how they just, I love how they play fucking hacky sack with Sonic's corpse here. This is great. <laughs> Tails, you, you can fight. That's something you can do. This is, uh, this is actually, see, it'll explain in the encyclopedia timeline, this is actually pre-adventure one, so it's actually before he learns to fight for himself. Oh, Number yeah, 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 so this, yeah, yeah, you're right, because this is, uh, Chaos's first appearance, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, right, Knuckles is like, Chaos Zero, wait a minute. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, that's <laughs> no way. All right, uh, part six time, yeah.